So why are we cutting away from Youngblood? Because if there's one lesson this book has shown us, it's that it doesn't actually care about its own damn characters. For you see, now we can check up on Spawn. Spawn is in an alleyway with some homeless people, and for some reason, he stuck a bunch of scotch tape on his face. Oh, I'm sorry. Clearly those are supposed to be band-aids or something. Spawn, did you think they were kidding when they said it won't heal if you don't stop picking at it? Number 5, from Youngblood number 8. The artistic ability of Rob Liefeld cannot be undersold. There are few people so incapable of drawing things like he can't, especially since it can create such a massive problem with understanding what it is I'm actually looking at. Youngblood number 8 featured a guest appearance by Spawn, since Youngblood member Chapel is apparently the guy who killed him before he became, well, Spawn. In this appearance, Spawn is sporting a few weird things on his face that I identified as bandages. Or at the very least, scotch tape, since that's what it looks like. A few hastily slapped on triangular and rectangular shapes that were clearly supposed to indicate some recent damage to it. However, my fans were quick to point out that I was incorrect in this assessment. You see, those are not bandages or even tape. But shoelaces! Yes, because this had been done in some back alley, it was not stitching thread used to sew his face back up, but friggin' shoelaces! So apparently Rob has never seen anything related to feet before. One of these days he's gonna accidentally look down and say, Holy crap, that's what they look like! Just to tie in this mistake a bit more into my show and indicate how I could have made a bigger deal out of this, I was also told by my fans that the damage to Spawn's face was actually a result of the Batman slash Spawn crossover I reviewed several years ago, which is in continuity for Spawn, and a chance to reference two of the worst comic creators ever in the same episode, Frank Miller and Rob Liefeld, in an unholy union is just inexcusable.